Welcome back everyone. I just randomly bought the iPad Air 4. So we're going to go ahead and show you how to take a screenshot on this specific iPad. Now the tutorial is very easy. It doesn't really require too many resources. All you need to do is locate the power button, which is on the top right of the iPad right here. And you need to locate the volume up button on the iPad. I thought it was the volume down button, but it's actually the volume up button. So right here, all you really need to do is just pinch them at the same time. So not like that. This is going to be screwed up, but just like this. And as you can see, it goes ahead and take a screenshot. Now you can go ahead and open it. And like I said, it's the power button right here and the volume up button, which is right here. And once you take the screenshot, you can go ahead and modify it however you want to. You can go and, you know, draw on it. So if you want to highlight something, go for it. If you want to go ahead and erase that thing, you can go and just erase it, click the erase option. And there's a lot of different functionality that Apple puts in straight into these little toggles. And I really love these type of things. I utilize it all the time. Whenever I do some thumbnails and some other things, I always go and customize it in the little customize option. So that's another awesome thing that you you can do and once you're done you have a couple different options you can go and click done right here and it'll go ahead and give you the option to save to photos save to files or delete the screenshot or let's say you want to go ahead and share it to somebody well in the top right corner what we can do is go and click that share option we'll get into this little panel you can airdrop it to somebody send it through iMessage mail it to somebody and so on and so forth and that's really pretty much it that's the whole entire process and from there I'm going to move this slide over a little bit <laughs> And from there, you can literally just, you know, save it, whatever you want to. It's the same process. Now, if I go and click done, if I click save to photos, you can go ahead and go into your photo gallery, which is right here. And you will see that essentially the iPad will go ahead and save that photo, especially the iPad Air 4, which we're talking about. We'll go ahead and save that photo right there. So that's pretty much the process. If you guys have any other questions or anything, let me know in the comment section below. Hit the like button. That would mean so much. But definitely hit that subscribe button. Every single subscriber that we get really does count. So it means so much if you guys can hit that. Also check out the other links down in the description as well. My Twitter, my Instagram, my other channels. More importantly than everything else, I love every single one of you guys. Hopefully I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace out till then.